Hello, piano drum world. <laughs> um, it's very good to be here, um, wherever that really is. But I'm here now, that's all I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going into the internet. Um, and I'm really happy to be singing to you. Um, and it's, yeah, it just feels very nice to be playing somewhere that isn't my bedroom <laughs> for the last year. So uh, it's very exciting. Um, so that was a song called mycelium um or mycelium sound haven't decided yet i wrote it over a year ago and it was actually inspired by a book um which you might have heard of by robert mcfarlane called underland and there was a chapter where he talks about mycelium networks under the under the ground and how they it's like a huge fungal network that helps trees and all kinds of things talk to each other and help each other out and I was actually was just thinking there, the song also mentions things that I've seen and haven't seen. And just by chance, I've just been <laughs> telling my friends that some, peop some people, that on Saturday, last Saturday, I just happened to see a meteor fall out of the sky <laughs> while I was at my mum's house um, in our atmosphere. And that was very unexpected. So just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, I'm just going to move over, over here now. Warming my hands up from some tea. Actually, that was really well segued because the place that I was in when I saw the meteor was where I grew up, and it's a place called Borthwick, and it's very beautiful. And I will sing a song called Borthwick, which is just kind of it's just kind of mulling around the the history and the atmosphere of it. It's a really beautiful place. Um, I'm so glad that I got to grow up there. Um, there's a castle that allegedly Mary, Queen of Scots, hung out in a wee bit. And uh, there's some really nice woodlands where, I don't know, I think you get to hang out with the fairies a little bit. So this is called Borthwick. This moon 
yip of a dog in the background there. I don't know if you can hear that. There's lots of fun seasidey sounds like seagulls on the roof sliding around. Um, well, I hope that wherever you are watching this, you are cosy and having a nice time. I know it's, you know, it's a little bit of a challenge these days, but we've got to do our best. Just, you know, keep chocolate at bay. And if you can find cats, that's sort of where, where I'm at, basically. Cats. I saw some cats in someone's window in the house the other day, and that really made my week. Anyway, that's nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. But anyway, I'm going to carry on um, with a song called, called Dandelion. Um, and a few years ago, I wrote a whole bunch of songs, kind of mo mostly inspired by plants. And actually, Borthwick, that song that I just played is on um, this album that I don't know yet <laughs> when you'll uh, get to see it or hear it, but um, hopefully not too too long. It's, it's all made. Um, and this next one is also on that record, and it's actually um, it's these songs plus string quartet, quintet um, and full, full band, so it's, it's really fun to play with lots of people. I'm, Looking forward to that happening again. So this um, song, uh, yeah, it was just sort of channeling the, the character of a dandelion. And I imagine, I was trying to imagine if the dandelion was a person, it would probably be quite a wild character. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Between you and me and the fish in the sea, there's a call and the wood is understood. It's ebbing and 
the dark is what's in the light. Perhaps there's more than meets the eye. Taste of the bitter crisp, taste of the sweet. It's getting hotter beneath my feet. In the height of the tree, in the sting of the bee. Why if you thought of the Bethany? Dandelion. <laughs> um, I'm gonna move back over here. Catch my breath a second. Um, so I'm gonna do my last song, another plant-based entity. I'm just sipping on some lemon verbena to keep me going. This song is called The Garden, um, and it's not actually it's uh, from a, a different sort of repertoire of songs, but. Um, uh, so I've been, during lockdown, I have started the process of <laughs> um, self-recording a little EP, so look out for that, it might, might emerge at some point on Bandcamp. Um, and you can find everything on Kate and the Kettle, whatnot. Um, so the, the first song as well will probably be on there. Um, yeah, and thank you so much. Thank you to the Piano Drum for inviting me and the tech, um, wonderful tech team on light, sound and cameras. Done stellar job. Uh, for me, it's just so so exciting to get to play in a, a lovely acoustic room. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, and I hope you all have a lovely day slash night slash whatever life. Goodbye. <laughs> this is this is called the garden. Also, uh, thank you to Esther Swift for loaning me my harp. This harp. <laughs> okay.
spinning, the 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 spinning, the